Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another Music Theory Guitar Tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be sharing with you how to find a 1-4-5 progression. That's the most common chord progression in all of blues and pop music in every single key. Now our first two methods, we're going to be using the guitar neck itself to be able to find the 1-4-5 progression in every single key. And then our third method is going to be more theoretical, using the musical alphabet and our major scale formula of whole steps and half steps. I got a quiz for you and a music theory cheat sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. You can support the channel there for a dollar a month, gain access to a ton of extra resources. Now let's get started. Okay, getting started with method number one, the L shape. This is the fastest and the easiest way to transpose our 1-4-5 progression in every single key. So, basically the way it works, we create an L shape on the low E string and the A string, like this. It doesn't matter where you start from, no matter which fret, the note that you start from is your key. So I do need to know the names of the notes that I'm playing. That's something that you should be studying every single day. So if I go to the fifth fret low E string, that's an A note, which means I'm in the key of A. This note right here is the first note of the A scale or the A major scale. Okay, now the fourth note of that scale is D, A, B, C sharp, D. And the fifth note is E. Now, by creating that L shape, I just revealed the one, four, five in the key of A major. A, D, E. That tells a songwriter uh, or a performer that if they want to play a one, four, five progression in the key of A, they just need the chords A major, D major, and E major. Okay, and there's lots of different ways to play those chords up and down the fretboard. So there we have it, the 145 revealed via the L shape. Okay, so now that we understand our L shape method, let's put it to work. Let's say we're jamming with somebody and they say, okay, I got this new tune, it's in the key of C major. Uh, it's a 145 progression in C. Okay, so how can I find a 145 progression in the key of C using my L shape? Well, all I need to do is find a C note on the low E string. 8th fret, low E string, and now I need to find the names of the notes that are here on the A string as well. So I have C, okay, the 8th fret of the A string, that's an F note. And then a whole step up from F, if I know my musical alphabet, is G. So then a 1-4-5 progression in the key of C would be C, F, and G. So there it is. Now I can convert those into chordal form and be able to play 10,000 different songs in the key of C, a 1-4-5 progression in the key of C. Okay, moving on to method number two, the stack method. This is just my personal uh, terminology. So what is the stack method? Well, we started this lesson off learning how to play a 1-4-5 in the key of A. I can find those same exact notes starting on the A string if I find an A note on the A string 12th fret. Just like that. So you can use the A string to find the 1452 by using this stack method. One more time, if I go to the 12th fret, A string, then I go down uh, to the D string, I just found my four. Now remember, I can, I can still use the L shape here. After I've revealed the five, I could find that same note one octave down on the 12th fret again. That's the 12th fret of the low E string this time. So now I've got one, four, five. The same as one, four, five, or one, four, five. It's all the same notes. A, D, E. So that's how you use the stack method to find the same exact outcome. The one chord in the key of A is A major, the four chord is D, and the five chord is E major. Okay, great work everybody. Now let's put that stack method to work. Here's another musical scenario for you. Let's say we're jamming with some friends and they say, all right, let's jam on uh, Bob Marley's Stir It Up, key of D major. 
All right, no problem. Even though I usually play that song in the key of A major, I can easily transpose it using my stack method. So how do I do that? First, I need to find the root chord, the root note on the A string, D. I can find that on the fifth fret of the A string. All right, so there's my one chord, D major. All right, that's the obvious one. Now I need to find the four chord. So to do that, I need to go down to the D string. The fifth fret of the D string, that's a G note. Okay, so that reveals the four. Now I've got the first two chords of Stir It Up. All right, then I need to find the five chord. One, four, five. What is the fifth fret of the low E string? Well, that's an A note, which means that our next chord in the progression is going to be A major. And now I can play Stir It Up in the key of D major. Stir it up, little darling, stir it up. It's been a long time since I've got you on my mind. All right, so you see how easy that was? The one, four, five progression in the key of D discovered using our stack method. Okay, excellent work everybody. Now we're moving on to method number three, using a more theoretical process to find the one, four, five progression in every single key. To do this, we're gonna be using our musical alphabet a, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then we're back to A. Okay, so once you have the musical alphabet memorized, then you can apply our major scale formula of whole steps and half steps to that musical alphabet to reveal all the notes that are in a specific key. So let's say we start from A, just that open A string. We travel whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Remember, a whole step is two frets, a half step is one fret. So starting from A, I have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, then I'm back to A again. So that just revealed all the notes that are in the key of A major. If I just isolate out the first, fourth, and fifth notes, I'll have the same notes that I found inside my L method. Okay, so we have one, four, five. A, D, and E. Okay, now the final segment of this video, put in method number three to work using my one, four, five transposition quiz, which you can find at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. In this quiz, it's asking us to transpose the one, four, five to the following keys. And to do that, we're gonna use our toolbox, our musical alphabet, and our major scale formula of whole steps and half steps. Let's get started with question number one. What is the one, four, five in the key of A? And also, what are all the notes in the scale or the major scale key of A. All right, to do this, I'm gonna start with finding all the notes in the key. And to do that, I just need to find A in my musical alphabet and travel whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So A to B is a whole step, B to C sharp is a whole step, half step gets me to D, that's where we're gonna find our four chord, whole, whole, half. All right, then we're gonna have a whole step up to E to find the five, a whole step to F sharp to find the six, a whole step to G sharp to find the seven, and then a half step will get me back to the root note A. So there we have it, I can fill this in now. I've got my one chord A, my two chord B. All right, then if I go to the third, I got C sharp. All right, the four is D as you know. The five is going to be E. The six is F sharp, it's that relative minor. And then on the seven, we're gonna have G sharp. All right, my, uh, don't mind my horrible handwriting there. So that means our one is A, our four is D, and our five is E. I can write it in, A, D, and E. All right, and that same exact process can be applied to all of these keys below. Let's try that with the key of G now. Okay, so this time I'm actually gonna circle the notes in the key of G. So I get started with my root note, G. I'm gonna go up a whole step to A. 
That's my one and my two. So G and A. All right, so whole step, whole step gets me to B. That's gonna be my three. All right, then a half step gets me to C. That's gonna be my four, I need that one. All right, and then I'm gonna have a whole step to D. All right, so there we have our five, D. Okay, another whole step gets me to E. All right, and then we're going to have another whole step to F sharp to reveal all the notes in the key of G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. And that means that my one, four, five in the key of G is G, C, and D. G, C, D. Art of One, thanks so much for checking out this music theory guitar lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to my patrons at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Hope you're enjoying the extra resources, including the quiz that goes along with this lesson and my music theory cheat sheet. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.